ball in the first half, and they're not giving sex on any ball. And Mike Phillips, Mike is, Phillips is away against Tommy Ball, and Phillips fends off ball, and Wales have scored. And Ireland are rushing up to the referee. Those are the celebrations. We're just going to wait for Jonathan Kaplan. I think we will need some analysis on that. Jeff Warren of England, your services may be required. No need for any video analysis. Mike Phillips has scored for Wales, and they take the lead. Well, what Paul O'Connor and Brian O'Driscoll are trying to say was that that wasn't the right ball. In other words, the ball got into touch, but the line was taken with a different ball. Now, that can't happen. It has to be with the same ball, and also... So, there's a ball tumbling behind just at the middle of your screen. Now, what they're saying is that that was the ball. We'd need to go back a little bit further to see the ball going out. This is the Phillips finish, there's nothing wrong with this, there's no nearness to the touchline, but it's the ball. What is he carrying? Which one? Well, Ireland really caught cold by that one. This whole match is dominated by one instant and one instant only, and it is this. Jonathan Davis, talk us through it. There's the kick into touch. The ball clearly bounces. A spectator catches it there. And just then, keep an eye out for the ball boy. On the left of your screen, is going to be highlighted. There he is on the left-hand side. Gives the ball. I think it's Matthew Rees. Obviously, a totally different ball. Mike Phillips gets the ball, sprints down the touchline, scores the try, which should not have been allowed because you can't, you've got to use the same ball in a, in a quick line-out. Yeah, the law is absolutely unequivocal, law 19. You can only take a quick throw-in if you use the same ball. There is the law, law 19 2D, I, I believe.